Hi, my name is Nick Adams, and this is my review of the Think Tank Airport Takeover. It's a slightly different review. You can see this is not the most pristine version of a Think Tank bag. I see a lot of reviews out there that are products that have not even come on the market, and people are reviewing them and calling out their downsides, their good sides, their plus sides. And I think it would be nice if uh, some of the companies out there that are putting out quality stuff get recognized a little bit because we're easy to judge and I think this guy I appreciate. All right, so a little bit about the bag. I bought this bag. From my recollection, I've tried to get back in touch with my suppliers, Roberts and Indianapolis, and they don't have a record of it when I actually purchased it. I don't have a record of it either, um, but I know I had an employee in 2008 and I know he had this bag or it was a similar bag to it and I liked it. so. He worked for me for about two years. So somewhere in that two years, I bought one of these bags. So let's just say it's 10 years old. So it's now 2020. So a conservative guess would be that this bag is, is 10 years old. I'm trying to figure out how, how much I've used the bag. So best estimates are, if you said over those 10 years, I've had at least one job every single day for the last 10 years. By that, I mean, I may have had eight gigs on one day and nothing the next. But I bet if you averaged it out over the last 10 years, this bag has been on a job every single day, 365 days a year for the last 10 years, I think would be a conservative estimate. And it's not done too bad, look at it. I mean, it's uh, it's a little bit faded, it's a little tattered and worn around the edges, but it's actually not too bad. I'll tell you what I really like about it and what I'm not so fond of. First of all, it's really compact. It really is a nice, size i mean you can get a ton of gear in here for the size it fits perfectly in an overhead locker domestic and international i've used it extensively for traveling it's got plenty of space in the bag i used to have this with my canon gear so this is kind of thrown in here but whenever i use this bag i've always changed it out i've always changed out the you know what i've got in here depending on the job i never i'm not one of those photographers that just has a certain amount of gear and leaves it in here but you can see there's a ton of room in here. You can put two bodies up here. And I used to have two bodies up here, two smaller bodies, but you can see it's a little bit tight. So laterally, I was going with either a body on end there or a body down at this end uh, going that way and then I'd have a divider between the two. And then you've got this side and this side is particularly deep. Well, this end of the bag really, because there's no handle there, but there's room for a, 70 to 200 you can see there and then i'll just put flashes on top of it uh, anything with padding will pack around that and then you've got lots of little subdividers i think the only subdividers i've got that are from the original bag are these main ones here they're, they're pretty solid and they're the main dividers that allow for the bodies to sit in there the rest of them are probably not think tanks i'm like I said, I keep reconfiguring the bag and it, it wears them out, the Velcro comes loose. So I have a ton of other inserts I've had from other bags. So I just grab those and use them as I do. You've got a really deep space at the back of the bag. You can see there, you can almost stand up a 70 to 200. It's a lot deeper at this end of the bag than it is where the handle goes. I'm not sure if you can see that. So there's a little bit less space at the top there, but all around the rest of the area is, is fairly deep. You can see you almost get a flash sitting up, up on end there. It does have lots of little pockets. The nice thing about these pockets, there's one there probably for good for business cards. Uh, it has one, well, this one's really a business card pocket. It, it even has a clear pouch in the top there where you can put a business card in there. And then you've got plates here that are used for business cards and phone chargers and what have you. There's your handle, pulls out. I don't, I, this has actually been open the entire time. I don't actually have a close yet, but I did for some reason. Then you've got, on this side, you've got a, a pouch basically for putting a tripod on. You can see I've used it. The legs go in here. Um, it's got limited uses for me because my tripods are all so big. They're uh, way too long for this, so they sort of end up wobbling about. But I have used it for small stands if you're doing some off-camera flash. You just want a small stand you can tuck in there, you know, one of those really tight, like small man frotto stands you can put in there and it holds it just fine. I must admit, I don't use it that much. And then but it has got these tabs on here, which are really good to have. You can see I've got one here. I use a wagon a lot, so I'll actually, I've got carabiners on here and on my wagon. I'll basically just hook them onto that. So there's no way of it coming off or slipping or, or, or anything like that. So I do love the tabs that are on there. 
Then here you've got a bag for 15 inch laptop, probably take a 17 inch. Uh, there's plenty of room in there. It's nice because you can cinch this down and it holds the laptop in place. It doesn't slide around all over the show. Uh, it's got a clear pouch at the top using for, you, you can see it actually had a locking cable in here. And I think I took it out about a month ago. It's been in there the entire life of the bag. I've never used it once, so I took it out, but you can actually see there's still a rust spot there, but that was a locking cable that was in there. I think they come with all the bags. Kind of handy, I should probably should have used it more often. Uh, so that's for the laptop. Then you've also got the handle on top, you know, being that it's a roller bag, you can see that the handle comes out there. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then it does also have, this is the one that has the backpack as well, the backpack feature. Now I've got to say, I didn't use this and I think if I got another one, I wouldn't use this feature. I'll probably get one without the backpack feature. And I'll tell you why, because the reason being, this bag holds a lot of gear, so it gets super, super heavy. So the only time you'd ever want to carry it is if you're on terrain that you can't walk through, which is, I mean, maybe sand, but I use a wagon if I'm using that or if you're going up and down stairs. And if I was going up and down a couple of flights of stairs, I'd probably just grab one handle or the ha or the outside handle. Uh, but what I used to do would be grab the, the backpack handles and I would just put one over my shoulder. Now, stupidly, didn't do the bag any good and it broke the strap off of there. My own fault, I just, you know, misusing the, the equipment. But I uh, seriously, this one's still attached, you can see. And it has a chest strap on it. But to be honest with you, it's not that comfortable. You've got a lot of weight on your back. So it sort of digs in, especially if you're only using one strap instead of two like you're supposed to. So I very, very rarely ever used it. Um, and I would use the handle way more. Now the handle's good. Uh, you don't have to press another button to get it up, which I love about this bag. A couple of things I would change it if I could. And it's more about the size. If you look at this bag here, I've got, I'm using a couple of B10s here, profile of B10s, but if you can imagine, I think I'd like a bag with a little bit more depth. If you look here, I could stand so close to being able to stand up with 70 to 200. And if you could do that, and maybe a B10 light or something like that, or something long, even a flash, if you can stand it up and close the bag, you're literally gonna double the uh, the size of the case. So I think these this might be seven inches, so I'm not far off. If I got like an eight or a nine inch deep case, don't even know if they make it. I think they do, but um, I think if you could uh, have a deeper case that's just an inch or two taller, uh, it would allow you to literally carry twice as much gear, you know? I'm not a fan for stacking stuff up, so I don't want a, you know, super deep bag. I don't want lenses. I like to be able to grab everything I can get, but so I think that my next bag will be a little bit deeper. The other thing is I probably wouldn't go for the, the, uh, the backpack handles just because I didn't use them. Another good thing about these is they have clear, pouches on them that might not seem, might seem like a little thing but the thing is i always i'm trying like i said i'm constantly changing out what i'm putting in this bag so it's not always the same things so it's nice to be able to see uh what what is in there you know normally i typically i'd use this for the top part for camera batteries and uh let's see if i can show that up there the top part for camera batteries and then the bottom part for bigger heavier stuff maybe cables and things like that laptop recharging lead now the bag's not been really set up properly. I haven't been using this. I've been using some Sony equipment, but you get the idea. I've just put the different lenses in there to show how much gear you can really get in it. And I think you can get a ton of gear, so. All right, so over the 10 years that I've had it, what's happened to it? What has gone wrong? Anything that's you know, stopped me using it? And there's only one time I've ever used it and something's gone wrong where it's uh, inhibited me using it. I wouldn't say stopped me, but just inhibited me. And that was when one of the wheels fell off here. It actually, um, just you can see that that Home Depot screw there. Basically, the screw just don't, uh, came out. I was going along, and then bump. All of a sudden, the wheel came off. Didn't lose anything. Uh, don't know what happened to the screw. Maybe I'd lost the screw. Uh, found the wheel and just got a screw from the hardware store and put it back on. So not a big deal there. You can see these plastic protectors here are really good so you can pull it up a curb or something like that it's not really going to damage the bag and it's got a super thick rubber bit at the bottom there as well so that was one thing like i said i broke the strap on the backpack part uh my fault totally this has always played up a little bit you can see where you get the, the handle comes out from here you just put a finger up and put it out and you can see with this i have to jiggle it to get it back in but that's just 
you know, I've got another brand bag. I'm not going to say which one, but I've got another brand bag and there's, the, you, you have to actually press a button to release this handle, which is really annoying. So if you've got a handful of stuff, you have to press a button first, then pull it up. So now you need two hands just to move off and pick your bag up, really annoying. This one's not like that. You just put a finger in there and you pull it up. So really good design. Now, the, the one thing I will say about these, you're not supposed to lift them by this handle. It says on there, it's tags everywhere that says do not lift by this handle. And I may or may not have over the years lifted it up a step or two because I've got my hands full by this handle. And consequently, it doesn't shut very well. It gets stuck, but just wiggle it and it goes in. But, you know, you get the idea. You get the idea, but it's totally my fault. I mean, yes, I did do it. So a couple of times pulling it up steps, which I shouldn't have been doing by that handle. Uh, it opens and closes, you just have to wiggle it. And honestly, the older it gets, the more I have to wiggle it. But hence the reason I'm thinking of getting a new bag. So anything else, there's, there's a little bit of wear and tear here. You can see where this is frayed, the padding has come away a bit, can you see that? There we go, padding's come away. Obviously the discoloration, this is not as black as that. Um, there's obviously a, there's a stain in here, but that cable was sitting in there for 10 years. I mean, uh, of course it, it had a little bit of rust on it, I don't know, but you'd expect that after 10 years, I'm not complaining about that. Um, the inside is held up pretty good. Like I said, I've probably moved some of these. I've, these have been changed out, you know, um, just because I changed the bag constantly. So the Velcro does, is not as stiff. You know, you get the idea. I've got, I've had to replace these, but again, I wouldn't expect any bag to last, you know, 10 years of constant rearranging. I do like the uh, handles on these, really strong handles on the side and on the top. Really good. If I was going to get another one, what would I get? Like I said, I'd get something a little bit deeper and ideally I'd get two of them. I'll get two bags, I'll get one that's going to be a carry-on. I'm going to keep this one anyway. Even though it looks ratty, I'm still going to keep it because it's a perfect travel bag. If you're just going to, you know, if you're going on a short uh, domestic flight or something, it's a perfect, I'm putting clothes in half it, a little bit of camera gear if it's not a photography trip and it does just fine. So I'm still going to keep this, but I'm going to get a bigger bag that I can use when I'm humping lighting and things like that. Maybe something a little bit deeper. And then I'm gonna get the newer version of this. I'm not gonna get the backpack feature. I don't know if that exists, where there's no backpack feature and just this type of bag, I'm sure there is. But having said all that, now my cameras are getting smaller. You know, the 70 to 200, the new Canon one is now, is more compact when folded. Um, so, you know, then I second guess myself and do I think really think I need anything that big anyway, because I got the uh, Sony a7R4, you know, half the size of the 5D Mark III. Um, so I don't know, maybe maybe it's, it'll be overkill, but would I buy a Think Tank bag again? Absolutely. I mean, it's incredible how this thing has held up. I can't give enough props to the company. I know the guys uh, that originally started the company, I remember reading about them, they're all ex-photogs, so they're, they're like you and I, they do the job, they get it, they understand everything that you know is needed from a bag, and that's painfully apparent when you see the, the quality of the bags 10 years later, you know? There's a lot of guys out there making really good products and I think they deserve some credit uh, for what they're making. You could look at this bag and whatever I paid for it back then, probably 400 bucks, I don't know. What other pieces of equipment have I got that lasted as long as this? And I'm still using regularly, I mean, apart from stands, but it's, it's cheap. I mean, it really is cheap when you would look at it that way, how long it's lasted and all the rest of it. Most people are not gonna keep a bag that long and I, I totally get it, but you know, I mean, it does look a bit ratty, but you know, I, I'm on the beach a lot. So I, you know, I don't really, it doesn't bother me that much, but uh, I shall certainly, certainly be getting another one. And I'll, I'm just waiting actually to actually get my hands on one so that I can sit, feel and see the sizes. And, but yeah, I can't say enough good things about them. Uh, definitely um, have no problems recommending them. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them. They're not paying me to do this. I'm not, nobody has coerced me. <laughs> I haven't been promised any free stuff, uh, nothing. So it's just, it's just something that I feel like good product, deserves some kudos and I'm gonna give props where props are due. So if you need a decent bag, I have no problem recommending think tank products.
if you think this has lasted me uh, the last 10 years and still going to give me some more service out of that, if you're an enthusiast, I mean, literally, you, you could be a one and done bag. So, uh, um, you know, go and spend a hundred bucks on a cheapo bag at Best Buy or get the real deal and you can have one for life. So anyway, sounds like I'm a commercial. I'm really not. Love the bag, totally recommend it. If you want to see more stuff like this, more content like this, let me know. Uh, give me some feedback um, in the comments below. I'm trying to start this channel up and get it going so that I can get some interesting stuff. Still finding my way, going a little bit in different directions, but uh, give me some feedback if it's something you're interested in. Much appreciated. In the meantime, thanks very much. Have a good one. But hats off goes off to these guys. They make a... Oh my God, I'm so hot.